Hi, I'm James Tumwine from Uganda. I'm editor of African Health Sciences and professor of pediatrics at the same institution. The AJPP has been a catalyst and in a way it's like an enzymatic reaction in which the enzyme doesn't take active part but it's very important to speed up that reaction. So AJPP has enabled us to, through small funds, to do a lot of work. Our journal has also grown really very much. We've been indexed on Medline, and recently we were indexed on uh, ISI, and uh, have a, a, an impact factor. Uh, and to us, that means a lot, quite a lot. It means that we, we are among equals, among equals. <laughs> yeah. When we started the journal, really the impetus was to have an African journal publishing African material because we were finding it extremely difficult to have our scientific material published in Western journals for various reasons. For me, sustainability has been the issue. And the fact that we've remained active and every single issue coming out on time without any serious delay, I think, has been very significant. Because the infant mortality of journals in Africa and also in the rest of the world is very high. Secondly, the growth in the number of eyes looking at our journal. We are into millions every year uh, on the website where we are hosted. I lived, through, uh, I lived in Uganda through very difficult times during the times of Idami, where it was extremely difficult to get anything to read. So of course, as you remember, there was no internet, no telephone. So if I wanted an article to read, um, which I have seen in those big Medline um, <laughs> books, Index, Index Medicus, which are now <laughs> in, the, in the museum, in our library. I would then have to write to a university in the States. Uh, please kindly photocopy an article and send it to me in Uganda. So my letter will take one month. And they will they photocopy the material and send it to me. So two months it would take me to get one article. Now we are in a different age where you can, where we can make material accessible on the click of the, whatever you call it, <laughs> on the mouse. Now that's why I'm married to the movement of free access. So if we can publish material and make it available, freely available. Then we are training our students, our staff, and keeping them up to date. And they will be high class scientists and health workers. That's what motivates me. Um, and that's why we have literally abandoned the written material in, in paper. Because it's expensive, that means it takes our money and our energies without any reward. The only reward we get in this work is to know that the students we are training, the people in Nigeria who are reading our materials, the people in Ghana who are reading our materials, are benefiting, improving their knowledge, and therefore improving healthcare in their countries. That's my motivation. And I want to do it. I want to do it until I have no breath left in me. <laughs> We've really benefited so much from this project and I'm extremely grateful, very, very grateful um, to NIH, Fogarty, to everybody else who has been supporting us because without that catalyst, the reaction will continue, might have been continuing, we would definitely have continued, but this support has speeded up the reaction and that we really appreciate very much, and the friendship we've been making in this project.